clay taco fish. Roll your clay into two balls. Kind of cool. We're going to get it to be kind of like a hamburger patty. Okay. So it cannot be thinner than your pinky. So we're going to do a pinky check. And it cannot be thicker than your thumb. Okay. If it's thicker than your thumb, you need to flatten it a little more. So what I'm going to flatten out one ball of clay. is I'm going to take my ball and I'm just going to pat it down so I want it to kind of be like a hamburger. Am I making it super flat? Use the other part of clay to create parts of the fish that you will attach to your fish body. You have to slip and score for clay to stick together. Sometimes I call this method scratch and attach. Scratch what you want to attach, then add slip, which sometimes people refer to as clay glue. Tape. That's one way. Glue. glue. So we have this stuff called slip and it's like clay glue and all it is is water mixed with glue. Thumbs up if you understand. Awesome. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to rub it along the edges. I really like the way you guys are paying attention. Give yourself a pat on the back. And what's going to happen with this, right now you're interrupting me, you're listening, and you're going to take it and you're going to fold it into a Taco. Taco. Okay, so this is just going to be the body of our fish. Do you guys see that? I like the way Allie said that. She said, is that going to be a fin? Well, you could pinch it, but no thinner than your, no thinner than your pinky. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close the back half because that's going to be the back of the fish. And I'm going to leave this fish.
When you finish, I will write your name and class code on the bottom of your clay taco fish.